Life Steady family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you in the new kitchen and we're about to head over to the pantry to do a video of what's in my pantry, new home edition. We've been in here since January. The kitchen is just about done, but the pantry's done. We completely renovated and extended the pantry so it's bigger and better than ever, or what I like to call it, the Flav City General Store. So let's go do a pantry haul. So the interesting thing is that when we moved in, the pantry ended here and I was kind of bummed out because this is a small space. But uh, Erica, who lives down the street, blew out this wall. And when you do that, it opens it up even more here, but then it keeps going underneath the staircase with what we call Rose's corner there because it's kind of short. But it pretty much doubled the space of the pantry, um, AKA the Flav City Market. So let's start with the uh, wine and beverage department here. We love keto wine and i talk a lot about it on stories what is keto wine well this is from dry farms there's only a couple companies that make keto wine it's wine that's made without any added sugar to the fermentation process and zero chemicals they don't put ingredients on wine and that's a bad thing because almost all wines add sugar to the fermentation process so a typical five ounce pour will have three and a half grams of sugar this whole bottle here has 0.7 grams because there's no added sugar. More importantly to me, there's zero added chemicals in this. And the reason you get a headache, in my opinion, is not from sulfites, it's from chemicals. They can add up to 75 chemicals to uh, wine grapes. One of them is called Mega Purple, super, super bad news. So when you get rid of the chemicals altogether, you don't get a headache. You don't feel bad afterwards. You don't get a weird feeling in your throat. And then with no added sugar, it's a no brainer. It's tough to get in stores. It's only available online. And then right below that here is the snack area here. We probably have more snacks than ever, which is kind of fun because we diversify them. So if you come in here a little bit, Leilani, you'll see we have a lot of Siete. In my opinion, this is the best one. Then the other ones, the flavor and texture of this one is great. Unfortunately, it's not the one they have at Costco in the big bag, but it's fantastic. This is Keto Cookie Row here. If you haven't tried these, these are my new favorite. They're Lesser Evil Keto Almond Butter Chocolate Chip Cookies. Amazing ingredients. The net carbs on these is five, and they're soft and chewy, while the high-key ones are like Chips Ahoy. These are crispy, and to be honest, these have a stronger erythritol or stevia flavor. These don't have any sugar alcohols uh, at all. It's a little more expensive, but they're fantastic. If you're keto also, I talk about this as the most underrated cracker, but Flackers are a flaxseed cracker with literally, I think it's one or two net carbs, but a ton of flax seeds in here, which make them fiber rich. I mean, there's nine grams of fiber per serving. So I call it like the colon blow of snacks because it has serious, serious fiber to it. Uh, Rose loves these so much that we have a whole uh, bin here uh, dedicated to uh, peely nuts. Peely nuts are the highest fat, lowest carb nut in the world. Laird carries them, but they also carry cacao ones that are dusted with just a touch of coconut sugar and raw cacao. The texture is like crispy butter. When you add a touch of coconut sugar and cacao, it is mind-blowingly good. And then if you start going to the, uh, into the drawers here, we have a whole bin basically for Rose and my favorite midday squares. These are a functional chocolate bar. I think they're popping up in more and more grocery stores right now. It's um, high protein, high fiber, next level paleo ingredients. Peanut butter is mind blowingly good. Uh, this is something that a lot of people don't know about. It's ghee chocolate date syrup spread. The stuff is amazing. Equally amazing as this, granola butter. It's organic oat mixed with maple syrup, olive oil, coconut oil, real vanilla. This stuff is great. It's hard to find, uh, but Whole Foods does have it. If we see what else is in here, we're getting a little low, but this is Rose's dedicated Kiki Milk drawer. Now, Kiki Milk is new to the market. You've probably heard me talk about it. It's the most nutrient-dense, clean, plant-based milk we've ever seen. They have chocolate, they have original. There's no gums, no emulsifiers, no oils, but the texture is so smooth and creamy and the ingredients are next level. Uh, you gotta try this. If you go to their website, you can get 20% off with promo code FLAVCITY. This is great and I'll have to use my code to reorder some because Rose is going through it like a boss. Ah, here we go. I keep this in the pantry. These are my refills of seed. So when you get the seed, they give you the nice bottle and every month they send refills in these biodegradable packets here. Um, if you haven't tried seed yet, 
get on it. They've been a two-year supporter of the channel, but more importantly, everyone I've turned on to this probiotic, community member, family, friend, has loved it because it works. Most probiotics just don't work. They die in your stomach acids. I've said it many times, but Seed is the Leonardo DiCaprio, DiCaprio inception of probiotics because it's a, a pill within a pill. The outer capsule dissolves in your tummy. They were smart. The outer capsule is made of pomegranate, which is high in fiber. It feeds your bacteria in your tummy. It's a prebiotic. Then the inner capsule with the 24 strains of bacteria makes it to your colon to deliver the payload, but it works. It's 24 strains of custom bacteria that clinically proven to work for bowel movements, digestion, immune health, skin health via follicles in your skin. Everyone I've turned on to this loves it. If you're in the market or you take a probiotic, try seed. My promo code always works. Click the link down below. It's 15% off your first month supply free shipping, but more importantly, if you live international, worldwide shipping for a flat rate and it's 30 days risk-free. But if you take a probiotic, I wouldn't waste your money on the other ones. This one's the best. This is kind of like the baking section here. People go crazy on Instagram when we talk about these. These are keto sprinkles, meaning there's no added sugar, but it's the only one I can find on the market that doesn't use natural flavor or processed oils. It's coconut oil. It's real colors from uh, vegetable juice and paprika. These are fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, these are paleo marshmallows from a really cool company that a fan sent me on Instagram called Sweet Opricity. They're made with grass-fed gelatin, honey, and maple syrup, and there's no processed refined oils or sugars. This stuff is literally a game changer. You put that in some of my keto hot chocolate, it's fantastic. Over here is kind of like a little bit of like a cereal nook. We don't eat too much cereal for breakfast ever, but for dessert, these are my favorites. So obviously I've talked about the keto uh, flakes from Thrive Market. This is a paleo keto cereal. That's unbelievable. But this, this is a paleo cereal you can get at Whole Foods and maybe Target. It's seven Sundays. It's an amazing cereal with next level ingredients, a touch of maple sugar in there, and um, the flavor is great. This will be hitting the market next week. It's my protein powder with all the smoothie ingredients in here too. You just shake it for 20 seconds with milk of choice. You have a nutrient dense smoothie that you never have to use your uh, blender ever again. So that'll be on shopflavcity.com uh, in about a week. This is why we call it Rose's Corner because if I need something, I'll send her in here to get it for me. Yee. Yeah. So this is Fourth and Heart. Uh, this is my favorite brand now. I've always liked this and uh, Thrive Market brand, but this is the only one that is a whipped consistency. It's because they cool it and churn it before putting it in the uh, container here. 100% grass fed. The flavor and texture is great. When we make Rose's banana pancakes in the morning that you guys see all the time on stories, we use the vanilla version of that. It's next level. The best salt that I love, the Celtic sea salt, either the Celtic fine salt, this is the flower of the ocean one. Their kosher salt cut is very good too. We have the Siete hard shells, a little fragile, but really, really good. Some of my favorite sauces are in the back here. The Siete enchilada sauce. I ran out of the red one, that's my favorite. The green one's good too, it's a little more acidic from the tomatillos. And then the uh, dairy-free tartar sauce from Primal Kitchen is fantastic with my uh, homemade crab cakes or my salmon cakes. If you keto and you want rice or pasta, Natural Heaven makes a really good brown rice, a, a regular pasta, or this creamy mash of Hearts of Palm. You just heat it up, throw some butter in there. I put a touch of uh, cream cheese also to make it tangy. This stuff is great for keto comfort food. All right, I think that is it for what's in the pantry right now or the Flav City Market. As soon as we're done with the kitchen, which is about 90% there, we'll do a proper tour of my dream kitchen because Desi and I built it from scratch and there's some really unique stuff in there that you guys might want to see. But uh, that is it. Uh, we'll see you next time for another video. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.